Now, within the past week, we have seen mental health crisis end in tragedy, both locally and nationally. Yeah, the upcoming holidays can be joy-filled, but it can also be especially challenging time of year for those who are impacted by mental illness. So Ben Jordan goes in depth tonight with mental health experts to learn about available resources. From Christmas and Hanukkah to New Year's celebrations, it's a time many people cherish as they make memories with those who matter most. But as psychotherapist Vanessa Minor of Milwaukee knows, it's far from the happiest time of the year for everyone. This time of year is historically difficult for many people and is just further worsened with those that have struggled with depression, anxiety, maybe suicidal ideation. A National Alliance on Mental Illness study found 64% of people with mental illness say the holidays make their conditions worse. From the added stress and pressure of planning and buying presents under tight budgets to gathering with family when relationships can be triggering. Just with the added layer of pandemic, um, financial stressors, seasonal um, depression or seasonal mood disorders, um, so I think that there is a lot of different factors that are making things challenging for people. This holiday season comes as the demand for therapy soars nationwide, leaving six in ten psychologists without openings for new clients. Vanessa says her practice is seeing it firsthand. It's unfortunate and I wish we had a better solution. But again, for those that are struggling, I, I hope that that won't be a barrier to reaching out. Vanessa says those who are struggling mentally or emotionally can find free help by calling or texting 988 through the Wisconsin Lifeline Call Center. We've definitely seen pretty significant growth um, coming in in the last five months um, with our with our volume increasing pretty significantly. Program director Shelly Missall says call volume shot up once their phone line transitioned to three digits in July. Nearly 5,000 calls were answered in October, more than doubling amounts from earlier this year. It's a critical resource for those contemplating suicide the second leading cause of death for people ages 10 to 44 in Wisconsin. But as Shelley points out, their therapists help people through any sort of struggle. Only about 30% of our calls pertain to suicide or homicide in any way. So 70% of the people we're talking to are having those other issues. Shelley says Wisconsin therapists are one call away at any time of the day, even on the holidays. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News. Ben, thank you. And the National Institute of Mental Health says there's ways to improve your mood and health during the holidays. Get regular exercise, eat healthy, stay hydrated, and try relaxing activities such as breathing exercises. Also, try to make sleep a priority. That's at the top of the list.